everyone what's going on this is shagun and you're watching the pastrick boys today we are going to learn how to make a dreamer effect using photoshop from scratch all right i'm sorry for this so before starting i just want to tell you that the stock links are in description you can download them for free so when you open the folder you'll get six files in the using these six files we are going to create an effect all right so before starting let me show you my composition settings let us go to new and width will be 1080 and the height will be also 1080 if you guys are wondering that why i'm doing so this is all because of the instagram the instagram square size is perfectly 1080 by 1080 let me show you so this is a square size of instagram and if you're going to use the 1080 by 1080 then you don't have to crop from sides so i recommend you to use 1080 by 1080 and resolution should be 300 anyways without wasting time let's start all right so first of all we are going to design a background to do so first of all import your bound pane layer um so first of all this mount layer we are going to import this all right so here we have this now what we are going to do is simply select these mount pins using quick selection tool and press the bracket button to change the size of your selection tool and now just simply drag over it. So once you are done with your selection press ctrl plus j to have your selection and now we see so we have our selection however it is done a little bit roughly but you know you can adjust it according to your taste um, for the tutorial purpose I'm just skipping it fine once you're done with it press the move tool and now simply drag it to your untitled section and now we are going to resize this so con press ctrl plus T and now just simply drag it like this and just adjust its size um, it is going to take a little bit time you know Alright, so here you can see I have successfully placed the mountain and this is the area where we are going to place a model. So now what we're going to do is add our sky. Simply go to file, click on open and then choose your sky layer. Now press the rectangular marker tool and now just simply drag it like this and just keep it till over the desert. We don't want that lower part. Once you are done with this, press Ctrl plus J to have your selection. You can see that. And now, if we zoom in, you can see this moon. We don't want this moon. So what we're going to do is make sure you have rectangular marquee tool selected. Drag it over like this. Click on right click. Click on fill. Make sure it is content aware. It is hundred percent and normal. And then click on OK. So you can see we have successfully removed that moon because we are going to add moon later on manually now just drag it simply like this and just resize it so like we did the mountain layer so I'm going to resize it all right so I, I have resized it but one thing that I can notice is it is not fitting so press ctrl plus t and now just adjust it but this is coming upside so what we're going to do is drag a sky layer below the mountain and now just using transformation tool drag it towards the downside so we can see that we don't have to overlay it and now we have a background ready so now what we're going to do is add a moon so open the moon layer now just simply move it to our untitled section all right so this um let us resize it a little bit all right so this is looking fine but we don't want this black background so choose the moon layer and now here you can see the blending mode it is set to normal make it screen and we have a moon so this is looking so cool and now what we're going to do is add a model so i have a photo of me standing here you can see you can also use your own photograph but if you want to follow along then you can use this 
but unfortunately you know we have to select a model using quick selection tool or you can also use the paint tool I'm going to use quick selection tool and selection is a little bit hard in this photograph so what I'm going to do is just pause the and I will see you later on when I will select alright so I'm done with my selection and now I'm going to move it towards the untitled I mean the project and now let us resize it you don't want to stand on me um you can make your own size obviously I'm going to keep it almost this way resize it to your taste I'm going to make it more smaller I think this would be fine now make sure the layer is at top press this clip clip mask asking this little icon make sure you this is set to black to white choose the brush tool and resize simply do over like this here you can see that it is looking like we are flying so using the move tool drag it down all right now it is really looking like we are really standing on this but what i am not liking is this color um, i want to make it black so what we are going to do is go to filter camera filter camera filter i mean and now oh my god wait a second so go to filter camera filter and make sure your exposure is minus five so we can see we have made it you know a black oh sorry for that noise so we can see that we have made it back and it is looking so good and i'm going to adjust it a little bit all right um just a little now just resize it all right now what we are going to do is just to make it look cool we are going to add a tree oh oh wait. all right so we are going to import the tree it is a png file so simply drag it and now just resize it we can also make it bigger but i just want to keep it small something like this one all right this is good and now what i'm going to do is go to camera raw filter and choose the exposure to be negative as possible because it is looking black and it looks cool now the final step is just to add birds so go to file open and the birds again so simply drag them like this to your section oh my god wait a second you don't want this all right so simply drag your birds just like this let's resize them and here we have a birds now i'm going to duplicate the layer by pressing ctrl plus j and now i'm going to add some birds right over here you can also add the top side i'm mean just keeping right there and they are so close to moon so i'm going to move them a little bit far all right so this is looking so cool and if you want the sky to be blue then what you can do is just go to this option and then choose color lookup click on low 3d light and then choose the drop blues so you can see the uh, sky red actually you know white but if you're going to keep it to top then it will give you a vintage look but for now i'm just going to delete this so this is looking so nice and i hope you enjoyed the video if you face problem at any time of this video then you can comment me you can dm me on instagram links are in the description you can also mail me my email is written in the description and make sure to check out other videos and i hope you're good so thanks for watching and have a good day